Hello, good people. It is Friday, and normally we would be at um, co-op today, but my mother-in-law, um, we go to co-op with her and when my husband's off to work, and she had a wedding to go to today. Um, I don't hear many Friday weddings, but yes, somebody got married this morning, so we didn't go to co-op. Hubby was going to work from home today, but then... A major issue um, came up in the office and he had to go in so he's no longer home with us and we're pretty sad about that so we did pretty well today we ate breakfast a long time ago we've just kind of been relaxing while he was home and then we you know got cleaned up and got dressed and now we are headed to dive right into schoolwork uh, that's what happens when you actually eat breakfast early I think that most homeschool parents that um, our sticklers for schedules would hate, would just hate me. They would hate my whole routine because I'm not a stickler for a schedule. My schedule is suggestive. It's just a suggestion. I don't have to live off of it. It says to do such and such at such and such time. And I'm not married to that, but it's more to help keep me in order. And I know that the closer we get to five o'clock, uh, the more I'm like, okay, we need to get this done. We need to wrap this up. This we need to move to another day. You know, that sort of thing. So it's just more to keep me on schedule and, and then to like make me stick to a schedule. So yeah, sorry. I don't go like, it's 9.30. Now we must be eating breakfast. It's 10.30. Now we must be doing Bible. Like I just, like I can't live that life. So anyway, especially with a, a, um, a six month old. Yeah, I really can't live that life. But my eye is getting better. It actually looks tons better today. I don't know if you can tell that the inflammation and redness has uh, drastically gone down. It's just a little flamed. Uh, so I may just be back in contact tomorrow, which I would actually really, really love. And yeah, I didn't get to put away clothes and stuff like I wanted to last night. So today we're just going to do what we do. It's important that we get to math. It's important that we uh, get to reading. It's important that we get some form of Bible study in, whether it be devotion or Bible study. One of those has to happen. Um, yesterday, my husband did do Bible with Johanna and it actually went really well. So I might try to sneak that in a few days a week of having him do that because um, I thought it went really well. And uh yeah, besides those things, I'm not a stickler for getting everything else in. We do the sign language and we have fun with it. So um, even if we don't sit down and do it formally, we will find ourselves doing a song in sign language like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star uh, just going throughout our day. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not a stickler for a lot of things. One thing I do want to get in today because we have not gotten it in all week. And we usually only do it once a week. But um, I want to get science in. Uh... I'm sorry, we usually do science twice a week. So we usually have, uh, we do Magic School Bus. So we have one day of watching an episode, and then we have another day of, um, oh, what is that? Mm. We have one day of watching an episode, and then we have another day of doing an experiment to go with said episode, and we do some reading before the experiment so we can make sure we know why we are doing the experiment and what it's all about. And this time I actually got some books from the library on um, what we actually are doing. So that should be very helpful. So anyway, John is knocking stuff off. I'm about to go crazy. Uh, anyway, we are going to head downstairs and get to work. Get to work, 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 work. Isabella is a Miss Fussy Pants today. She is uh, having a bad time of it and I don't know why. Yeah, doesn't matter what's happening. Uh, if you sit her up, lay her down. If you feed her, don't feed her. It doesn't matter. She's having a bad day today. So, um, what is that? Okay. So, anyway. I am, while Johanna's doing her uh, copy work, I was reading. I think I've shown you guys this book before. Not in this vlog, but um, in a my Annapolis vlog that I'm reading Tony Evans detours yes it is taking me forever to read it um not because it's not good but just because I keep putting it down because I keep getting busy but I think I told you guys yesterday that I want to devote more time to being in my word so that is what I am doing um I'm including in that reading books that uh, will help me spiritually and this is one of those books 
But I just thought I want to point out a couple of interesting things. So there's a few things that he said that I thought were very interesting. One is that he said, God is not going to bring your destiny to fruition until he knows you are able to handle it spiritually, emotionally, and physically. And I thought that was very interesting because one of my prayers is asking God, what is my destiny as far as what he wants me to do for the kingdom of God? And I have not heard anything and it drives me absolutely crazy. Um, I just want to hear something, just something. So that's one of those things that I often pray about and I'm just waiting for the Lord to answer. Uh, but I do know now that he will not bring it to fruition until I'm able to handle it. And so... Maybe he's still pruning me so that I'm able to handle whatever it is. Uh, it also says, it talks about how Moses was on a detour. So even the great men of the Bible were on detours. It said, it took 40 years in the wilderness to develop Moses into the humble and trusting servant he needed to be in order to have the mindset, faith, and abilities to carry out the plan. So that speaks volume. So if it took... 40 years for Moses to be developed then Lord knows that might mean it might take 60 years for me and so the other thing that I wanted to point out is this and I thought this was something interesting to consider it's, it talks about um, how what our detours are made up of and it says they may oftentimes contain evil they may oftentimes contain bad people in fact, in our lives, it can be, e it can even be our own bad choices that set us off on a detour. And I never really thought about that. Um, whenever bad, uh, people have come into my life or a lot of bad circumstances, I always assumed that it was just the enemy. I just assumed that it's the enemy trying to get to me. It's the enemy trying to break down my faith. It's the enemy. It's the enemy. I never considered that it could be God. God allowing these things to happen to build my character. Him allowing these things to happen to build my faith. Um, him allowing these things to happen because they're strengthening me for whatever my destiny is. I never really thought about that. I just, a lot of times just thought either, you know, I'm just bringing this on myself and that's it. Or it's the enemy, it's the enemy, it's the enemy. So I just wanted to point those things out to you guys. Johanna is done with her copy work. So I'm going to end my reading there. And again, this book is um, Detours by... Um, Dr. Tony Evans. He is a pastor in Dallas, Texas, and I listen to him a lot on the One Place app. He also has many videos up on YouTube. So feel free to search for him on YouTube and watch some of his videos. He's also really awesome um, with the marriage ministry. So check him out. All right, today's scripture for her copy work was Ephesians 1 7, and it reads, in, him, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. So it is because of his grace that we have uh, forgiveness uh, of sins. And we thank God for the forgiveness of our sins so that we are able to move on with a fresh slate and able to uh, do what he has us to do for the kingdom of God. So... Don't forget to forgive others because if the Lord forgave you, there's no reason you shouldn't forgive others. If the Lord forgave the people that ripped his skin apart, uh, beating him, um, bleeding him to death and nailing him to the cross, there is no reason why you should have an issue uh, forgiving someone else. Um, I'm not saying that it doesn't take time. There have been things done to me that have taken time. I have been, I'm going to spell it because Johanna's sitting here, R-A-P-E-D. Um, I've been through many things. <laughs> um, and it took me some time to forgive the people that did such things, but I did do it. So forgiveness is possible. I didn't say it was always easy because the Lord knows it's not. But if you have it in your heart that you want to get to the place of forgiveness, just pray about it. Pray about it. And the Lord will help you get to that place. Um, some things seem completely unforgivable. And I, it makes me inhale like that. Like, Lord, how are they going to forgive that person for that? Like, how is that going to happen? Um, but I've seen him do it time and time again. I think you just have to have a willing heart. Um, and sometimes things are too fresh and it takes you a while to have that willing heart to forgive that person. Um, and I don't 
I don't fault anybody for that. I know that's life. You're human and that happens. But as time goes on and, and you pray about it, let the Lord lead you to, to forgiving um, them for whatever it is that they did. It will set you free. Trust me. It will set you free. Um, that doesn't mean that it won't, what happened won't still hurt. It doesn't mean that uh, you will completely forget about what happened. That's not so. But it will set you free. And, um, yeah, freedom is everything. So, anyway, onward to the rest of our school day. Hello, you guys. Isn't that cool? I've done a terrible job of vlogging today. It is now nighttime. We are on the way to take our car to the um, mechanic. It is almost 9 o'clock. Uh, our car is not running well. So, we're dropping it off at the mechanic tonight. It's a long, long drive. So, yeah. For. I, mm, that's upstairs now. Oh, bookshelf. There should be some over there. Um, somewhere on the right side where those pages and stuff are. Yeah, so. I'll catch you guys when we get. After 10 now, it's quite right. a long ride to get out here, but we are here. I am tired. Oh, I was gonna say, let me see if I get some light going on, but that's all the light we got. We are tired, baby sleeping, tired. Now we got an hour ride back home. Uh, so we're dropping the car off and we're riding back with my brother-in-law to our house. And then we are gonna try to get to time right now is 105 that's a.m. not p.m. and I'm still up and not because I want to be my husband is up downstairs doing dishes or something Johanna is eating a snack because the ride was so long she got really hungry and there's that one Biting her bottom lip and just sitting here. This is us. Um, yeah, I'm I'm so tired. I could, I could cry, but that uses a lot of energy and strength that I just don't have. <sighs> so I'm going to try to feed her and try to get her to wind wind down and go to sleep. Then I'm going to try to do the same thing. Um, I did really well today with my eating. And then it all nosedived. Um, I didn't do terrible, terrible. But I think I went over my calories. which, And I didn't get to exercise. So if I'm going to go over my calories, I at least would like to exercise to burn some of that extra off. But it didn't happen today. So the prayer is that tomorrow it does. Um, yeah, I got to have better days than this. I really do. I got to get it together. So anyway, I'm about to lay down with this beauty and try to call it a night. And yeah, sorry vlogging was so sketchy today. It just today was just very weird, busy day. So tomorrow 
we should be up to some fun. Um, oh, and this one, I forgot to say that this one is seven months today. You're seven months. Six months adjusted. So, um, yay. Well, yesterday, technically. But, you know, we'll just say today since we haven't gone to sleep yet. All right. Anyway, catch you guys tomorrow. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Friday night. A wonderful Saturday. And a great Sunday. Because I don't know when I'm posting this. Because I was supposed to post yesterday's today. And, yeah, I didn't even edit it. Because today was so busy. So, catch you guys later.